air superiority has always been one of the most decisive factors in modern warfare. But as aircraft become faster, stealthier, and more reliant on precision weapons, defending the skies has become just as complex as attacking them. Recently, Iran revealed a new addition to its growing air defense network, the Zubin air defense missile. While it may not generate the same headlines as hypersonic weapons or stealth drones, this system plays a crucial role in how Iran plans to protect its airspace against modern aerial threats. So what exactly is the Zubin missile, and why does it matter? Let's take a closer look. Air defense is not built around a single weapon. It is a layered system, with each layer designed to counter specific threats at different ranges and altitudes. The Zubin missile is believed to fall into the category of short to medium range air defense, a critical layer designed to protect military bases, radar installations, missile launch sites, and strategic infrastructure. These systems are especially important for countering low-flying aircraft, drones, helicopters and cruise missiles threats that long-range systems may not always engage efficiently. According to Iranian defense sources, the Zubin missile is a surface-to-air interceptor developed domestically to enhance point and area defense capabilities. The system is reported to feature high maneuverability, rapid reaction time, and compatibility with mobile launch platforms. Zubin is designed to be deployed quickly and repositioned easily, allowing Iranian forces to protect critical sites while remaining difficult to target. Mobility is a key feature, survivability in modern warfare depends on it. One of the most important aspects of any air defense missile is how it finds and tracks its target. The Zubin missile is believed to use a combination of radar-based guidance, electro-optical tracking, and command guidance from ground-based systems. This multi-sensor approach allows the missile to engage targets in electronic warfare environments, track low observable or low altitude threats, and maintain accuracy despite countermeasures. By integrating Zubin into a broader radar and command network, Iran increases its ability to respond rapidly to incoming threats. Modern aerial threats do not fly straight, predictable paths. Drones and cruise missiles often maneuver, fly low and attempt to exploit terrain masking. The Zubin missile is reportedly designed with high agility control surfaces, fast acceleration after launch, and the ability to perform sharp mid-course corrections. These features are essential for intercepting targets at close range, where reaction time is measured in seconds. In short-range air defense, speed and maneuverability matter more than raw range. The Zubin missile is not meant to operate alone. It complements Iran's broader air defense architecture which includes long-range systems like Bavar 373, medium-range systems such as Kordad series, and radar and early warning networks. In this layered approach, Zubin acts as the final protective shield, engaging threats that slip past outer defenses. This layered strategy forces attackers to overcome multiple interception opportunities, increasing cost, complexity, and risk. From a strategic perspective, the Zubin missile reflects Iran's emphasis on defensive resilience rather than offensive dominance. By investing in domestic air defense systems, Iran aims to reduce dependence on foreign suppliers, adapt systems to local operational needs, and sustain long-term defense capability under sanctions. 
Even if Zobin does not outperform every foreign system, its local production and integration give Iran a crucial advantage. Self-reliance. The Zubin air defense missile may not be the most dramatic weapon in Iran's arsenal, but it fills a vital role in protecting airspace against modern aerial threats. As drones, cruise missiles, and low-altitude strike systems become more common, short-range air defense systems like Zubin are becoming increasingly important. In modern warfare, it is often the quiet, defensive systems, not the headline-grabbing weapons, that determine whether a nation can hold its ground. And with the introduction of Zubin, Iran continues to strengthen that defensive foundation.